hey, it's Izzy P here, uh, back for match four in the Popper League. So far, one and two with Burn, and we're going to see if we can change it around, win some play points. Wow, who shuffled? <laughs> two Searing Blazes, two Chain Lightnings, two Fire Blasts. Come on. Come on, guys. All right, we'll keep this hand. We got three damage, uh, ten damage, or three, six, ten. And then this is 12 or 15. Uh, plus we'll get to scry, and two lands is exactly what we want. Chain Lightning, keep it on top, like Chain Lightning. Lava Spike. We're going to play the Keldon. Hopefully they don't play a creature and we just get to attack with it. Um, if they do play a creature, then we get to Chain Lightning the creature and attack for three. So we still do three damage with our Chain Lightning, but we also get to kill a creature. So that's the nice thing about having a creature on board like that. All right, no creature, no creature, no creature. Oh my god! Gain four life. Probably the worst creature for us to face. That's terrible. That's why I hate these white decks. Uh, but we're going to chain lightning that. Attack. I guess it could have attacked first. But it doesn't really matter. We want that dead so he can't return it to his hand with, um, I think it's like Core Skyfisher. This is really bad for us. We'll hold it for Searing Blaze. Oh, we will Chain Lightning now. Sorry about the noise there, guys. Sure, you can draw two cards. Drawing cards is never what I'm worried about. Uh, I'm way more worried about, like, Lone Missionary than I am about Mole Drifter. Um, I mean, he gained eight life, so he'd be at seven right now. And instead, he is at 15. All right, now I have seven damage in my hand. Would have won uh, if he would have never played Lone Missionaries, but that's not really fair to uh, <laughs> say that he would never do that. Um, why I don't play Lightning Bolt is if he is going to return this to his hand, I'd rather just bolt this because uh, it saves, it gets rid of four of his life instead of three if I just bolt him in the face. Echo Wellspring. Gaining more life. He's gained a nine life. Alright, sweet. We'll play that. You can hold both of these up. We can get him down to six right now. We're getting closer. We're getting closer to winning. What is this? Oh, a hard cast mole drifter. All right, that's fine. Um, is it eight cards? Wow, he's doing pretty good. Shadow blast me. 
Flint Hawk. Return an artifact you control to its owner's hand. Well, that's not an artifact, that's fine. He's going to have six power. So I have like three turns. Let's incinerate now. Okay, so we have six. Four is ten. We want to. We want to suspend Rift Bolt. Cast Lightning Bolt. And hope I draw another damage source next turn. And that he doesn't gain life. Uh, I probably should... Well, so this way I'm playing around a counter. Uh, the only thing I don't play around is some sort of flicker effect now. Or a return loan missionary to his hand. Galvanic Blast? Sure. Does he have another one? Lightning Bolt. One more thing. Come on. I'm the burn deck. Okay, well this deck is pretty sweet. That he's playing with. Uh, but there's some good things for us next game. Uh, we get Smash to Smithereens, which hits lands and uh, uh, creatures there. Um, I like Molten Rain. Like Searing Blaze. He's just full of creatures. Take out a curse. Take out a uh, needle drop. Take out one fire blast. Take out two curses. Um, if the game goes long, he's just drawing more and more cards and uh, playing more and more life gain cards that my curses will soon fall off. You want to win before that happens. Would I like to play first? Yep. Chain Lightning Smash Steering Blaze. It's got everything I want and more. Hmm. I play this, hold up, incinerate. And I guess smash to smithereens. Alright, same thing. We're holding the cave for Searing Blazes. Mm. So he draws a card if I kill that, so I will wait on killing that. But that makes our smash live. Uh, there's just other smash targets. Alright, he's gained three life already just off the lands. This is a pretty miserable matchup for me. Oh, our third Searing Blazes. This is actually very bad for us now. Because we don't want to be activating... We don't want to have five lands to activate Searing Blaze all the time. Alright, so now we kill the Wellspring, he draws a card, but then Glinthawk dies as well, and he takes 3 damage. Or he's got the counter. Dang. Yeah, not looking great. You turn one of his gain life lands.
Oh my gosh. That brings me up to gaining 7 life this, this game. Soon to be more. 8 life. Play Kelden Marauders, I guess. <clears throat> to hold the cave, to do Searing Blaze later. Alright, this deck is pretty sweet. It's got a way to just like grind some games, but it's also got some burn to close it out. I like this deck that he's got. Eighteen life on turn six. Turn six is where I should be winning, or it's probably over. Now he's gonna go to twenty two life next turn. Uh, there's just there's just no way that I get beat him down to twenty from twenty two life. Uh, but we'll play it out for the sake of the viewers. Let's 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 check it out. See what else his deck can do. Hardcast a mold drifter, sure. Might as well smash to smithereens this now. Okay. Oh, that is not the uh, great furnace artifact then. Here we go. Alright. 12. He's going to go up to 16, though, with his lone missionary. And he has six cards in hands, and I have, like, one and a half cards. I just can't battle the, uh, the amount of life gain he has. But that's, uh, that's alright. His deck is just really good against this type of deck. GG. Yep. Not much I could do there. Um, but that's the way it is. Let's go play our last match. <clears throat> so we're 1-3, we're and three, which is not great. Maybe we can win some of those play points back.
I'm gonna give it a little bit, and if not, I'll uh, jump ahead and meet you in match five. Alright, uh, I'll call it and I'll meet you in the next match.